Good morning. Welcome to St. Michael the Archangel Catholic Church. If you have not already done so, please take this opportunity to silence your cell phone. Today we are celebrating the 22nd Sunday in Ordinary Time, and our presider is Father Mike Guarino. And at this time, I invite you to please stand to join in singing our opening song, The Summons, found on your worship aid. together this morning for Marie Serrano. And let us begin as we begin all our prayer in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. To prepare ourselves to worthily celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Now, Israel, hear the statutes and decrees which I am teaching you to observe, that you may live 
It may enter in and take possession of the land which the Lord, the God of your fathers, is giving you. In your observance of the commandments of the Lord, your God, which I enjoin upon you, you shall not add to what I command you, nor subtract from it. Observe them carefully, for thus will you give evidence of your wisdom and intelligence to the nations, who will hear of all these statutes and say, This great nation is truly a wise and intelligent people. For what great nation is there that has God so close to it as the Lord our God is to us whenever we call upon him? Or what great nation has statutes and decrees that are as just as this whole law which I am setting before you today? The word of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no alteration or shadow caused by change. He willed to give us birth by the word of truth, that we may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Humbly welcome the word that has been planted in you and is able to save your souls. Be doers of the word and not here is only, deluding yourselves. Religion that is pure and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to care for orphans and widows in their affliction and to keep oneself unstained by the world. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give us birth by the word of truth, 
that we may be a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When the Pharisees with some scribes who had come from Jerusalem gathered around Jesus, they observed that some of his disciples ate their meals with, un with unclean, that is, unwashed hands. For the Pharisees, and in fact all Jews, do not eat without carefully washing their hands, keeping the tradition of the elders. And on coming from the marketplace, they do not eat without purifying themselves. And there are many other things that they have traditionally observed, the purification of cups and jugs and kettles and beds. So the Pharisees and scribes questioned him, why do your disciples not follow the tradition of the elders, but instead eat a meal with unclean hands? He responded, Well, did Isaiah prophesy about you hypocrites, as it is written? This people honors me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines human precepts. You disgraced, disregard God's commandment, but cling to human tradition, he summoned the crowd again and said to them, hear me all of you and understand, nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person, but the things that come out from within are what defile. From within people, from their hearts, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these things come from, in, from within and they defile the gospel of the Lord. In today's gospel reading, we find Jesus confronts people who are focusing on rules and completely ignoring relationships for which these rules exist. Sometimes I think we get caught up in the same thing. We make religious rules that are supposed to help us in our relationship with one another as the people of God. But soon we seem to forget that these rules were made to bring us together, not to force us apart. They were made to help us, not hurt us. What's really important is relationships, those relationships that help us to live as a sacred community, as the body of Christ, rather than just focusing on being adhering to rules. A while back, there was a 1918 Ford uh, touring car that was on display in the Car Collectors Museum in Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee. And connected to that car, there was a little placard that gave a story. The father of Alfred H Albert Hilliard bought that car in 1918 for $785. But what happened was Alfred and his brother got into a great argument over who was going to drive the car into town on Saturday night. That happened in 1921. 
Well, the father drove the car into the garage, shut the door. And 38 years later, the car was found. It was covered with dust and chicken manure, and it had 1,800 miles on its odometer. Once in a while, I kind of think about that Mr. Hilliard and his Dodge touring car. You know, the father, what he was trying to do, he was trying to settle an argument between his children. And so what he did is he made a rule. Okay, neither one of you will get to drive it. I have a feeling, though, and I'd probably bet that right away the two brothers started fighting about something else and then arguing about something else and then arguing about something else. The problem wasn't the car. The problem was the fact of the, uh, of the jealousy and the strife that lived in that family, in the hearts of the brothers. They didn't need rules. What they needed was reconciliation. And so often that happens with us. It isn't rules that we're looking for or need or even a judgment, but rather a reconciliation. Jesus kind of tells us that, um, or encourages us, to recognize that how important relationships are in life, to make a good life and a good way of living, to make us righteous and just if our relationships are good. I remember many, many years ago when my nephews were small, if I were on vacation or at their home for whatever reason, I would sit down and watch Sesame Street with them. And they loved it and I watched it enough that I got kind of interested and thought it was kind of an interesting show. Not too long ago, I saw a documentary on Sesame Street. And in that documentary, somebody asked the producer how the, the child actors reacted to the Muppets. Well, of course, the Muppets are nothing but puppets with a human being crouched down and holding them up with one arm. And his reply was, they pay no attention to the humans. They just speak to the Muppets. And he said, there was one time I remember that a young child saw Big Bird take off his top part and the, actor, and the actor stepped out. He said the little boy just kind of stared at it and then he yelled, Mom, Mom, do you think Big Bird realizes he has a man inside? I think that's what the law is all about. It's to remind us that we have a human being inside inside our hearts, inside our soul, inside our very core of being, inside that part of us that makes us something more than just a thinking animal. I think it also, the law also reminds us that everyone else has this hidden humanity, this heart and soul, this center that belongs to God. I think Jesus is trying to invite us to remember, to remember that broken center as we relate to one another. I think Jesus is trying to remember or trying to invite us to transcend rules in the name of love. No rule, no regulation, 
can ever change our hearts. Only the cross of Christ, only the broken body and spilt blood of Jesus can break our hearts so great that we allow God's love to flow in to change and reshape us. Please join with me in the profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Having heard God's word and welcomed it into our hearts, we ask God now to hear our prayers. That the church will faithfully tend to the word of God, listening ever more closely for God's callings. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That leaders of nations will strive tirelessly for peace and justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are lonely will find solace in loving, attentive relationships. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all gathered here will know God's promised presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In thanksgiving for Father Michael and his safe arrival back to our parish community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have died will live eternally in the presence of the Lord, especially William Drennan, Jim Cassidy, and Sean Snyder. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Maria Serrano, whom we are remembering in a special way in this Eucharist. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the parish prayer line, the intentions in the parish prayer boxes, and our own special intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, you promise to remain near us and hear our prayers. Accept these and answer them according to your will in the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the one we have. Through the divine work of human hands, we come for us to the Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. From the night he was betrayed, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, 
we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look upon the Eucharistic offerings of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Michael, and with all your saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent amongst the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to all the world. Look upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice that are gathered into one body of the, by the Holy Spirit. They may truly become a living sacrifice of Christ to the praise of your glory. Remember also those who have died in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith is known to you alone. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into your heavenly inheritance. There, with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom may bestow in the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not in our sins, but in the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Safely offer each other a sign of God's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Happy are we called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter unto my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
an announcement uh, this morning, and that is that, I know it has to do with registration, I think. Yeah, uh, the registration is ongoing for the 21-22 religious education school year. Uh, just please contact the parish office for details and to register. And we also ask that you bring your worship aids home with you after Mass. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you and our neighbor through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. I think the joke I'm going to tell you, I might have told before, but you, when you get my age, you know, you forget it anyway. So. And I wish I had one about being a klutz. A married couple, they were uh, up in years, and they were really having a hard time remembering. And so they went to the doctor and they let him know, you know, Doc, we just have an awful time remembering anything. And he said, well, you know, that happens a lot uh, as you get up in years. He said, but what I suggest is you write everything down. And they said, that's a great idea. So the next day uh, in the evening, they're watching uh, television, and the wife says to her husband, uh, would you get me a hot fudge sundae? And he said, sure. So uh, she said, now, make sure, Sunday, I want vanilla ice cream. Now write this down, and I want hot fudge. And she said, I'd like whipped cream. Re please write all of this down, and I want a cherry on top. Now write it down. He said, I don't need to write that down. And he said, I'm fine. So he goes into the kitchen, and about 20 minutes of, or so later, he comes back, and he's got a plate of bacon and eggs. So he hands her the bacon and eggs, she looks at it and says, where's the toast? For light, we wait in darkness. Longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people. Light for the world to see. Christ, be our light. Shine in our hearts. Shine through the darkness. Christ. Be our light shine in your church gather today longing for peace our world is troubled longing for hope many despair Thank your you. word alone has power to save us make us your living voice Christ, be our light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness, Christ. 